All right, it is 9.40. I just got out of a second trade with NWBO, and this was um, a morning panic bounce play. At least this is how I was trading it. I had one trade. I was in and out very quickly. I was in at um, 9.33. And this is something that I've been trying to do recently. There have been a lot of times where, you know, I kind of want to see a lot of confirmations for a morning panic bounce play to work. But lately, these things just turn around very quickly and start up trading like... Um, you know, crazy, very hard-headedly, just smacking the ass and up training. Uh, look at the big seller now at 99 cents. Anyway, um, I got in the setup for that morning panic grounds play, and that first trade was at 9.33 at 9.75. So that was right here, 9.75. So right around here is when I thought it was going to potentially be a bottom. I thought 97 was going to hold, and then it's going to try to turn around here, especially because it breaks this downtrending trend line. When it wasn't showing that it was going to immediately start hitting the ask and uptrend and look nice and everything, I did get out the next minute at 973. So I was in right here at 975 and I got out at 973 and it did break the 97 level and it got as low as the 96s. And when it got to the 96s, you know, I saw that it held and then I thought, all right, well, this is normally where I just had a trade. It just did the, you know, um, a move towards the bottom, a new bottom, and then it, it actually turns around and uptrends. It just did that little sneaky downtrend and I guess wipe up a bunch of people out and then it actually turns around. So I did buy again and this was at 936, 500 shares at the same price, 975. So right here I was in at 975 again seeing that it just broke the day low which was 97 but only a little bit and then it started to turn around so i got in it at this candle for that reason at 936 and then i did sell 200 shares when we were starting to see um, a slight uptrend at 99 and a half at 937 so right here 99 and a half is when i sold half of my position and then i had a trend line and because i just haven't really been lucky recently with setups i had a trend line right here and if it breaks under it i'm getting out of the position that's what happened at 940. I was out of it at 99 and a half, uh, 300 shares. So I sold both of the two portions of my position at the same price. And yeah, it could do the thing where, you know, it just wasn't able to break above a dollar and it downtrended and it made like a little higher low off of this level. And now it's going to actually break above a dollar and maybe get to VWAP, which I, right now is at 103. So that could be the situation and i'll keep watching it in fact it probably will do that i just um probably shouldn't have recorded this and had an entry at 98 but um at least i pushed myself enough to trade these two things when i would normally not and sit back and watch that's pretty much it for that one this one is downtrending i don't really see anything i want to do with it though it doesn't have like the best daily charts um i guess it could be something where i could have a trend line if I could manage to draw one that seems to fit with the way this one is trading, which seems a bit hard, maybe something like this. And it's already trying to break past that. And there's nothing of interest here. This one doesn't have volume. GTII, I wasn't looking at it this morning. I was looking at NWBO, nothing really significant. And this one had a gap up. This one's a bit um, spooky, so I don't necessarily want to trade this one, at least right now. I'll make an update later. All right, it is 9.12 p.m., and I'm here to pull it off. Overall, I'm going to be up on a day 9 bucks. That was two trades with NWBO, and I'm very happy with the way I traded the second NWBO trade because I stuck to my rules. I sold it in two pieces. I didn't sell everything at once, which is good. I gave it a chance for it to continue the uptrend above the trend line and when it broke the trend line i got out of it i didn't hesitate and yeah it did downtrend a little bit but it didn't really do that much i mean i guess it did make a move towards vwap much later in the day but uh this thing just didn't really work out that much it wasn't really a morning panic bounce play that offered a lot of opportunity and i wanted to go over the other stocks but i don't know i don't really like doing it sometimes because it just feels like we're just going over hindsight, you know, 2020. It's just, oh, yeah, that was a setup right there. Not really. Um, this one was kind of iffy because it had a huge gap up, and I'm never really interested in a gap up setup that is panicking because they don't really seem to work that well. But 
in theory it did eventually make a move towards VWAP. This one would have been something that I would have traded. Uh, it just shows a pattern, but I don't really see how I would have actually put money in it myself. Uh, nothing really with this one right here. Although we did have that trend line that I drew, and it did break it, and it did turn around eventually, but that was pretty much it for that one. It doesn't really trade so nicely. And then NWBO, again, nothing besides that warning panic bounce play that I traded. I was looking at AABB. I did like where it was. Um, the only thing is that I just don't like how sometimes it has these little uptrends and then it just downtrends, and, you know, it just doesn't really do anything like its original move a very very long time ago. I don't know why this chart is right here. It should be right here. No wonder it looks kind of off. It just hasn't done anything big since way back here in 2021, but in theory, I was watching it because it did drop under VWAP after having a super nice morning spike, but it never got above VWAP, and I didn't like the price action. There was a point where I didn't draw it, but mentally I had like a trend line in mind, and then once it broke past this uptrending trend line, I just figured that it wasn't really going to do anything. It did sell off. Uh, no real setups in terms of that, and nothing really with this one. Uh, just kind of scary. I wanted to have traded that. Even though it looks like a potential morning panic bounce play at the time, that would have looked kind of messy. And that's pretty much it. Um, MMTLP made a bunch of short sellers cry. <laughs> I was not here when this one happened, but that is crazy. This stock is just totally destroying the short sellers. And I just had no ability to trade it because um, I can't trade this one on Fidelity. I'm not allowed to. It's just like something that doesn't let me trade it. It is tradable on my Schwab account, but I don't want to pay commissions, and I'm not expecting something like this to happen either towards the end of the day. But very nice way to wreck the short sellers, I guess, and offer a bounce for everybody else. That's pretty much it. Just those two trades with NWBO didn't really work out that well, but I'm happy with the way I traded. That's it.